this part of the tutorial will just be focused on setting up Wowza with Capture HD for a live stream. So first, we assume that you have Wowza already installed and set up on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and start up Wowza. If you're not aware, Wowza is a Java runtime environment, so you'll see everything running here in uh, Java runtime. And then we're successfully started, so we can go ahead and minimize our Wowza for now. Go to the live stream manager, which is password protected. And this could either be local on your box or on an external uh, PC or terminal remotely. So I'm currently going to be using the live stream. I'm going to go ahead and start that. And my live stream is going to be named lecturehall.stream. And these are all configured through Wowza. The dot stream file basically points to your RTSP encoder. And then Wowza takes that, uh, the feed from the RTSP, and translates that and makes the stream available for uh, desktop and mobile playback. So we're going to hit OK and go ahead and start our live stream. So we've successfully started the live stream lecture hall. For our recorded stream, that's in the live stream record, and if we have our live stream active, the live stream record will go ahead and pick up, and we have our lecture hall that stream running. We go ahead and click start recording. Specify any details like the segment size, um, reversion an existing file, so if we just wanted to keep appending a lecture hall with a date, or however we choose to append the file, or we can go ahead and overwrite. I'll go ahead and leave um, the version existing file. So it would be the video 01, video 02. Um, the stream format, go ahead with an mp4 or a flash file, and then you can choose a lot of special tags here, including passwords, usernames, and other um, special tags you can insert on your stream. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just record an mp4, hit submit, and there's my path it's going to record to on the server, so it'll be just lecturehall.stream.mp4 file available. And then also if we're doing a long recording, you could pop into your live stream record and go ahead and split uh, recordings into separate lengths, so maybe a four hour chunk of the first half of the conference and come in after and then you'll have two separate chunks um, easily split up through the live stream record and these are just accessible anywhere I'm on a local IP but ideally be tuning in from your fully qualified domain name either on your campus or however you're using Wowza so from here we can go ahead and open QuickTime player and let's launch that URL and see our live stream running so it buffers real quick and then this is also available on mobile so this is running on the capture HD there I have the screen of the capture HD sitting there it shows the meeting that we're running in here it's our capture HD demo stream we're five minutes into it and so any other upcoming meetings will also show here when you're not in streaming mode and I have the Capture HD set um, for picture in picture of equal size but you can go big content, small video, upper corner, bottom corner, full screen content, full screen video if you don't need multiple sources but for now I'm just doing the, the side by side layout so we have our live stream running uh, once again this is also accessible on uh, mobile devices, iOS, Android, just by going to that live stream URL in a browser. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And we're going to click over to um, the Windows server and get into the Fusion RV now.